Dementia is, is, is a big part of my life in particular. Joan, my wife, has uh, Alzheimer's and we've been living this journey for 12 years now. Not a lot of family to share with, so my family is community and I think that's the, the, the emphasis that I'd like to start on is, is, is community is huge and, and an important side of stuff. Just one, since one has a diagnosis that is not uh, the end of life, it's not the end of the journey. It's important to be able to say, hey, what else can we do? One of the most exciting elements is that this park is a first in Canada. Um, and so it's, we're hoping that it's going to serve as a model for other jurisdictions. And it's also going to serve as a model for other parks being built in Calgary. Um, another element that we're looking forward to is that this park will be a space that brings caregivers and people living with dementia together. Um, and it's going to allow them to not be defined by the disease, but rather be a part of the community. We're, we're calling this a dementia inclusive park. It's being intended for, for those with dementia. But let's not overlook that there's a hugely important aspect to this that perhaps isn't even talked about. And that's the caregiver himself. Having a park, a place that's designed where a person with dementia can wander freely, that's fenced in, that's safe, that has tactile things for them to play with allows you to let that person have some free range in, in the sense which is hugely important but more than that the caregiver this is a place where caregiver and their families can come and to be able to simply sit down on the park bench and be able to say whoo take a deep breath let their person with dementia be able to interact with stuff just to be there, to get them out, to be there. So this is, this is every much for the caregiver as it is for the person with dementia.